Welcome to Six's Word on the Curve, sponsored by LMT. What we're not doing is shutting down the curve. This is how we get the news. You know, this is how we get the 411, the T. What's up, my carsters? We is live. Is it on? Is it on? Y'all know we up in here. We got a lot to discuss. This Memorial Day holiday drama set filled with a whole bunch of stuff going on. Y'all already know I got my sidekick with me, Shine the Gossip. Y'all, we gave Shine a new name. <laughs> <laughs> Shine the Gossip is on deck. Y'all already know this is your girl six. We on we about to get it popping with this whole situation about everything DL and Monique, honey. Don't forget to tag y'all favorite somebody for those of y'all listening. Y'all know y'all on YouTube, y'all on the podcast, and of course you in our um, Facebook group, which uh, we stream live on Facebook. Everybody, so you know we be talking back and forth with our people in the Facebook group and we be bringing y'all the tea y'all know the tea so don't forget to tag your favorite somebody's and tell them to come on in and let's get it going and talk about this whole situation with dl hubley and monique child monique can't seem to stay out of the whole thing she is always in something the last time it was with you know Oprah, Tyler, and what was his name? The um, producer of uh, Precious. They, Lee they, Daniels. Lee, Lee Daniels. Daniels. And they mm -hmm. finally got back coolie cool and stuff. And I guess he surprised her on stage at one of her event comedy specials. So <laughs> y'all already know uh, she back out here again. Now she didn't got into it with D.L. Hughley. Um, let's pull up some of this stuff here so we can go over this whole thing, which is really all about who was headlining. Y'all don't know, but um, Monique was and DL was here down here at the Fox in Detroit. And um, you know, the, the Fox is like a big place. It's the bee's knees of Detroit. When you get in at, at the Fox, then you can get in anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Detroit uh, Fox Theater is like, um, it's like going to the royal ball, honey. It's like you being over there <laughs> with the princess and the duchess. That's what the fox is to Detroit. It's everything, right? And they were hosting the show. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, she did get into it with Steve Harvey, too, sissy. Hey, everybody in the chat, thanks for joining in. Don't forget to tag your favorite somebody. Let me just go ahead and shout out who we got. I see we got uh, Sissy on the deck. Hey, Joy is on deck. Mm-hmm, Jan Jan is on deck. Hello, yep, it's up, y'all. Oh, uh, yeah, you booed her. And it wasn't her, it was pathetic. Oh, my God. We got to get into this, y'all. Uh, let me just give you my disclaimer if y'all hear noises in the background. You know, I got family over for the holidays, so you might hear a little bit uh, noises going on. But rest assured, it won't stop the tea that's coming. Um, so they was downtown Detroit at the Fox Theater and they were doing uh, a comedy special, DL and Monique. Now, y'all know it's always some back and forth going on about this whole situation because who was supposed to be headlining? That's the whole thing. Who is supposed to be headlining? 
um for those of you who are on um on youtube and everything don't forget we ask that you you know click the follow and subscribe and the notification bell as well please do so for your girl so that we can be all over the place just like everybody else okay but apparently it was some discussion between the two on who was supposed to be headlining now from what monique posted now y'all know she did the video let's start there she did the video she did a video and she came out dragging dl hughley about this whole shebang bang <laughs> shine Yes, she did, girl. She came out great. I mean, and she even brought his wife into it, which I did not like. I was like, girl, why are you mentioning that man's wife? And then she girl. tried to insinuate he was gay. It was just, she was just doing too much, even if this did happen. She always, you know, she go for the for the juggler when she come for somebody. So this is not really new for her. This is This is what she normally does. But the thing about it was just the way that she went after him. Now, let me see. I got, I think I got Monique's, um, her Instagram post. Let me bring that up for you right quick so we can go over that. Um, and I'm trying to see if it was another one. Um, but this is what she posted on her Instagram. If you're doing things illegally, then show your contract, not posters, not ticket stubs, your contracts are. And please know that no different than Tyler, Oprah, Steve, I still love you, brother, too. But I have to love our community and myself enough to tell the truth. Also, anyone who comes on stage slurring because they may have had too much alcohol to drink and need a support dog, ooh, like yourself, is a person that has the type concerns that should keep them from talking negatively about anyone because you know the issues you're dealing with in order to need a support dog so i will roast your ass on stage but i'm going to love you in life as i'm fighting for you too despite the disrespect you frequently show or frequently show your own people but when you're allies with people who put money over integrity, then that says everything. In the words of Spike Lee, wake up. Now, this whole situation um, was just, uh, <laughs> was back and forth because she came out on stage and, you know, just so I won't get no copyright strikes and stuff like that, I could show y'all the video and we can get into it uh sissy said she was there she told a lie oh shoot sissy what did she say you need to come on the deck you need to come on the stage so you could tell us what the hell happened too girl um but basically she was saying that she was supposed to be head the headliner meaning that dl hughley was opening up for her um and dl said to the contrary mon frere that is not what was supposed to be going down that is not what was on deck this is not what you supposed to do and dl showed a lot of the stuff like him showing his name first on the programs and stuff like that so like this is from uh 105.9 kiss fm and it says it presents the comedy explosion starring dl hughley and monique and normally if you're on the flyer as first then you're the headliner just you know just to give you all some backstory on how that goes when you're on a, on a flyer um, your name is first, you're headlining, you're the star. Okay. And then um <clears throat> then he also posted on his um Instagram as well a response to what she said as well. Because this document too, because he showed some documents and stuff along with it, showing that uh no, no, boo-boo, I am headlining. I don't know what you're talking about. This is how it's supposed to be. Uh, so he also showed that Monique came on at 8.40 or was scheduled to 8.40 and then DL was coming on at 9.45. You out with family, Sissy? Okay, just post it in here and I'll read what you said. Um, and uh, Sissy said she was down at the Fox for this whole thing and it, was, it wasn't her. It was really pathetic. Uh, she said the crowd booed her and that um, it was cringe worthy. This is from one of our um, 
um, viewers on the curb, you guys, uh, also a personal friend of mine, uh, Deanna, uh, we call her sissy. She always goes to everything Detroit. So she was down there when this whole shebang went off. She said it was a damn travesty in the community. You heard. But D.L. Hughley um, was basically showing receipts as to him being the headliner. He like, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, boy, because... Um, you know, I I am supposed to be the headliner. You was the runner up, basically. So he posted on his Instagram and he said, answer me this. When have you ever seen the headliner at the bottom and mentioned last? The confusion is with whomever gassed her up on premium app Octane. Now back to this soggy and bourbon. Y'all ain't fucking my Sunday up hashtag team dl talk to your people hashtag talk to your people so basically he letting you know uh she was never on that roster as the headliner and at first i thought you know i was getting some information as to she was supposed to have been but i need to see these contracts now that um you know he's popping out some some tea he's he's showing what he has dl also i mean um um let me see well who is this this was monique reply did i already read this one let me double check on this no so she said the fact that you point the people to the ticket stubs for the order of names versus to your contract implies that you don't have a contract that shows you are the headliner like i do either show your contract or shut up stop messing with people who have never messed with you and considered you as a comrade in comedy but i thank you dl because you're the reason why i fight for my people like i do anytime you opened for the king of comedy kings of comedy and i was the headliner for the queens of comedy you think you should close the show over me is an example of by of the bias that black women have to deal with in this business. I won't even discuss the awards. Oh, shade. <laughs> well, that one is shady now, Monique. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was shade, girl. And um it's just sad that these two keep going, uh going back and forth about the whole thing. Let me see if I can pull up um, this whole situation of what um, he said, because, you know, he did reply back. And then we're going to go into the receipts that Sean got off of his Instagram and posted on uh, on the posted on the curb. And plus, uh, she sent it to me directly. So this is what D.L. Hughley stated. He said, all you have to do is check the order of names on the ticket stuff from last night. You will see who's confused against my better judgment over the objections of my team and four other occasions where I said, no, I decided to take a chance and work with Monique. Oprah was the problem. Tyler Perry was the problem. Charlemagne was the problem. Steve Harvey was the problem. Lee Daniels was the problem. Netflix was the problem. Now it's my turn. At some point, it can't be everyone else. It's you. Lesson learned. I didn't have anything personal against Monique. People paid a lot of money to laugh, not to hear about your contract. Apparently, the role you played in Precious turned out to be an autobiography. I wonder who's next. Daryl Lynn Hughley. Because I think she was saying what the DL stand for down low, brother. Because she was just going off on him. <laughs> but yeah. Child, she came for him hard. hard. Yeah, she even said something like, I don't even see how your wife sucked the you know what of a coward. I was like, look at her now. You're doing too damn much, Monique. Girl, too much. Too Girl, much. Just too much. I was it's like, crazy. So I guess even with all of the hoopla, you know that. DL was just like, oh, we going for the juggler because juggler, we're not going to sit up here and continue this whole shebang that you trying to do either. We're going to um, give you the tea of what you need. Now, he just posted this not too long ago. And shout out to Trouble T because she um, she double checked to make sure we had this tea that um, that he had posted on his page not too long ago. So we have that as well. Let me pull that up for you so you guys can check this out because actually he showed and people, what were they saying in the um in the comments, Sean? Because Sean was reading the comments. 
I mean, some people were saying that they don't believe that um, Monique, I mean, they don't believe this was the real comment because it said deal memo up there. But look, if you look up in the corner, it says status confirmed right there. Right. So his status confirmed. And then too, it also has his banking information, which is it in a contract, it tells you how much you're getting paid, it tells you your status, it tells you where those funds is gonna go to, da 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 da. And all of that is on here. So I don't really believe that this was a memo per se, but that's what people are saying because of that. Um, hey Yucca, um, Yucca in the building. <clears throat> um, you uh sissy. Okay, let me see. Let me get to these comments right quick. So Joy said, why is she always bringing up she doing it for the community and for pe women of color? No, I have for you doing it for yourself and your husband. Exactly. Uh, for those that are just tuning in, we are talking about the uh, drama between D.L. Hughley and Monique. Um, they had a show here downtown Detroit at the Fox Theater, and she is going after him because she claims that she was the headliner. He was not, and that he pitched a bitch about it uh, to get things changed so that he could be the headliner and go last, right? Okay. But you know, if he did do that and his contract says that, then what's the problem? You know? Uh, yeah. He might I mean, have pitched a fit, but if I got a contract saying that I'm the headliner, I want to be treated as such. And I'm going to let y'all know. Right. That yeah. has absolutely nothing to do with Monique. Yeah, that's crazy as hell. But in his defense, he didn't go on stage ragging about it either. He didn't bring it out to the public. So whatever he was saying, you know, and they were saying, you know, the word on the curb is that he was like, who she thinks she is, Dave Chappelle, da 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 da. Like, you know, she's trying to compare herself to a Dave Chappelle. She's supposed to be headlining and all of this. So, I, you know, I don't know. Sissy said it's like uh, we was all rooting for Monique and she keeps shooting herself in the foot. Exactly. Um, what the hell is she fighting for? Yeah, at this point, um, I don't, I really don't know. Cause at first I was like, well, wait a minute. Maybe she got a point. Maybe she got some proof of the of the contract that she was given maybe it says differently from what he presented uh and i was like okay i'm looking for whatever she decides to put out is she gonna put out the contract but that has yet to be revealed so i'm not sure uh, yes but the award has had nothing to do with comedy you are right joy her um her oscar award for precious the movie precious did not have anything to do with her being a comedian and it was actually about her being an actress but you know when people are talking about their accolades they bring everything to the forefront so i get what you're saying um joy said um no matter what he posts even though she asked him to post people are going to believe what they want she says she believes Daryl Lynn. <laughs> Y'all gonna start yeah. calling DL Daryl Lynn now. <laughs> and I keep going to Monique's page because, you know, this could be a matter of the promoters are playing them against each other. They gave Monique a contract saying she the headliner and they gave him the contract saying he the headliner to try to accommodate both of them. That could be it. That could, I mean, you you never know in this business. I always tell you, you know, this business is Shady McGrady, right? Yeah. Sissy said, why she barking out demands, post your contract, right? Uh, Joyce said her issue shouldn't be with DL. Her issue is with her management, her husband, agents, promoters, and her whole team. Facts. I agree. She should not have uh, came after him. Yeah. I don't think that she should have made it public either, but we know no, how Monique Joy, operates. Sorry, Six, but I just saw Joy coming. Joy talking about, but wait, have we seen her contract? Absolutely not. That's what we've been waiting to see, Joy, to see if she posts it. Because this is what um, DL posted. So what you're seeing on my screen, DL just recently posted this, and this is what he said. After this, I don't want to hear no more about this here. It is in black and white. The only thing blacked out is personal and bank info. Pay attention to the headliner. Highest paid artist on the show, artists to have approval for, of lineup, lineup of the show, DL Hughley closing. Receipts, opinions, I got everything that was stated in my contract. 
everything. But let's say I didn't. My beef wouldn't be with anyone but the promoter and or my team. And I damn sure wouldn't make it personal. If you have a problem, take it up with management. And by that, I mean yours. Oh, absolutely. That, and, that makes sense to me. Why would mm-hmm. you have a beef with him if he went there? His contract said he's the headliner. If they did say Monique was the headliner, but his contract said he was supposed to be, who the hell ain't bringing that up? I am. Wait exactly. a minute now. I'm supposed to be headliner. That's not personal. That and my thing is, hard. didn't you look over your contract before you signed it and got this all into play? Why didn't you check everything out prior to the show, the day of the show? Yep, that's why I'm saying it may be an issue with the promoter or somebody that gave her a contract saying she the headliner and somebody gave him one too, evidently. Exactly. Now listen to what Sissy said. Sissy said that he came out and told his jokes, but she told cho- jokes and cursed every other word to a full rant. So basically she really wasn't doing comedy. She wasn't doing like her stand-up skit. She was just, or was she doing her skit and she was making it more dramatic? <laughs> I'm laughing at Sissy. You see what she <laughs> I'm wait, wait, I'm trying to get to it, but wait, have we seen her contract? Uh, and that's she what was the headline. I would not have went to the show. <laughs> the headliner caused what it is, Trouble T State, and they pay for the venue, okay? And then Sissy said, if she was the headliner, I would not have went to the <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, I know that's right. Now, wait a minute, Sissy. So everything, like your ticket and everything that you saw, like the flyer and stuff like that, it said D.L. Hughley was the headliner, correct? comment below comment below so i know sissy because sissy is it went to the whole thing so i want to know was it all you know you know when it's the headliner they show all their pictures when you walk in the venue it's on the tickets it's on the flyers she said yes ma'am mm-hmm. so i don't know where in the fluke that uh you know monique is getting this whole psychotic situation blowing this up bigger to what it is but apparently I want to see the proof that she got that she was supposed to be the headline. Cause other than this, this is, this is just a whole hoopla. Was it a hoopla to, to get everybody to come out and see the show? Do you think maybe she was just doing it for views, clicks and likes? <laughs> I mean, the, the only thing that makes sense to me, unless she is crazy is that the promoter then jacked up, like I said earlier. That's the only thing that makes sense because she looking like she doing it for clout, so. Mm, well, I guarantee you she gonna drag this all out, but if she don't, re- you know, uh, show up and show out with this contract showing that she was supposed to be the headliner, then we probably going to be hearing crickets from her. Yep. That's the only way that she can redeem herself is if she produces her contract. Because otherwise, we're looking at her like, girl. Like she crazy than a mofo. She crazy than a mofo. As this is that, I want to see her bipolar ass come for 50. <laughs> Look, you know what? Let me just say this. I thought we was going to have nothing but smooth sailing. All right. When 50 said he was putting her into his uh, stuff, I thought we was going to get nothing but smooth sailing out of Monique. Like, I kind of wanted her to vindicate herself and, you know, come back out and be really good in the, in the thing. And she get good ratings and reviews and stuff like that. And she started getting some shows and bookings and stuff like i was really hoping for the best for her y'all already know that we didn't have this conversation in vip as well as on the curb that i kind of been rooting for her even with this whole thing with um oprah tyler and lee daniel situation like i really have like but this is just starting to get team too much for me to even keep putting my bet on this this one-legged horse you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Did she think she was supposed to close the show? She barely got her foot back on the stage. Oh, Joy, you going for the juggler. She said her mental illness is showing. Well, something is definitely showing. Something. Um, in my Tyra Banks voice, we were all rooting for you. 
definitely were because she is making this be a whole situation. I don't get it. I do not get it. She has to do better. She she really does because I I don't understand how she's going to keep having a job in this business and she keeps doing the things that she's doing cuz don't nobody want to um don't nobody want to fuck with her and that's just the honest truth don't nobody want to fuck with her and if she doing stuff like this like this because even if this did happen to her i think it was inappropriate for her to come out there just like right away and start going out ma'am at least let it simmer for a minute yeah because this chris rock waited to talk about the slap damn Girl, he still ain't saying shit about the slap, has he? <laughs> Girl, a little joke here and there, but nothing major. <laughs> he ain't talking about it, honey. He said he ain't talking about it till he get them buckets of dough in order. You heard me. Run me some coin. Run me awesome coin. Well, you know what? Shout out to Dia Hughley for producing the receipts and, you know, shutting this whole uh, train down because this was a reckless damn train for sure. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to hear some more, some more about this. I'm pretty sure she she probably then, you know, got off of the stage and went and collected her, her, her money and sat back and reviewed all of her stuff and realized that she was not the headliner because obviously the proof is in the pudding. She need to reduce the, produce those receipts, which is the contract. Uh, Sissy says she talking about, I haven't been in Detroit for quite a while and I'm back here at the Fox and you, you clown, you will boycott her ass. <laughs> oh my god this is just terrible this is terrible well y'all know we'll bring y'all any of the latest updates we'll post it on the curb y'all just stay tuned to it we about to move on to the next drama y'all know the title of this is called drama drama and more because let me tell you it's just been a whole bunch of stuff going out Sean, I know uh, y'all know Sean got her new name Sean the, the gossip so Sean you gotta spill this tea all about your girl uh sitting up here with this new song she didn't did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I told I was telling Joy the other day, it sounded like Candy produced that song. You know why? Because she was auto-tuned up. Do you hear me? She was oh. auto-tuned up. <laughs> girl. I was like, oh Drew. And what are you singing about the way you let that man do you dirty on this show? Uh, girl. I mean, Break it down to it. Tell them who the hell Drew is and what's going on, y'all. <laughs> well, girl, Drew is one of the ladies on the Housewives of Atlanta. I think this is like her second season. So last season, there was an issue with her husband where they had an argument. And he disappeared off to Tampa for three days and wouldn't take none of her calls. But, you know, he just runs circles around her. She's how much she feel like she in a tumble dry when he talked to Ma'am, ma'am, you let that man talk to you like that. He just say whatever he want. And she believe. It. And if she don't believe it, she make herself believe it. I'm just like, oh, my God, Drew. But anywho, I guess she didn't decide that she wanted to be a singer. And, uh, well. So what did you think about the song? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, look, I, I, this new sound that they have where it, like, it really do sound like she, she's just auto-tuned too much. I don't like it. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody cannot sing. And y'all really? already know that the majority of these new breeds that are coming out as singers or R&B singers and that and that and da 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 that they cannot sing they need auto-tune we need auto-tune we need auto-tune we oh, do not fantastic. have real singers <laughs> we don't and let me just tell you as soon as she opened up her mouth i flicked on to the next thing i'm gonna let y'all know because y'all know i don't i don't <laughs> she said insert j-lo you know all that hey sharon aka sharon thanks for joining you already know that i don't i don't do good with the new age music like i'm quick on the hip to time because this ain't what i want this is not what i want 
So let's um take a little listen here. Jesus, I can't believe I'm gonna play this mess. Okay. You could hey, be too. You know, I've been going through so much. I have been in the studio working on this record, and I want y'all to tell me what you think. I'm um, working with the legendary Troy Oliver. Can we play him something? Or even a legend. Tell me you love me. You know you don't love me. No, you don't love me. Don't tell me you love me. Okay, that was enough for me. Was it enough for you, Sean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, why they always want to tell you they working with the legendary? Nobody that is legendary can help the vocal cords that much. I'm just saying. Right. That's why I said she said like Candy working with her because Candy will get you together. Girl, Candy can't even get herself together. You heard this uh, legs and hips and body, body. <laughs> Girl, absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But, oh, you know, I was just thinking about, you know, in earlier seasons of um, The Housewives, remember when Candy had auto tune Kim Zosiak and put her song out? She Girl, had the ring didn't mean a thing. <laughs> now it was that's one of them but the one i'm talking about don't be tardy for the party oh don't be tardy girl candy had out of tune because kim could not carry a damn tune girl Woo. girl well she did make she made kim be the the bell i mean you heard me yeah she did make <laughs> her be the bell i mean so yeah girl kim had a hit on her hands with that damn song she did and then they fell out for yep. money reasons you know and candy was like that's my song that's not yours <laughs> well, you know candy don't play about her coin now that's why no, I- you know she don't Feel trouble said y'all better buy my auto tune album when it releases y'all look y'all trying to do y'all albums now uh so said, what i well, think because she was like what I say they might as well release the album. Tish say she releasing one too. Everybody need to release their albums. Cause... Everybody can get on get on some kind of you know app and get you some music and go on and and auto tune the hell out of your song. Everybody can do it. Everybody. Sissy said what I think is hot garbage. And don't worry, I won't tell you. I love it either. <laughs> you want you? I love it either. You love it. What song is this? Hey, Erica, what's going on? Thanks for joining, doll. She got to take care of her mama. She needs them coins. She do. You talking about candy. Her mama Her mama got to stay flashy, honey. You know how that go. Mm-hmm. You know how that go. Well, you know, all I'm saying is if that's what you want, uh, then that's what y'all going to get. <sighs> Messing around with these people here and these auto tunes and stuff like that. But speaking of good music, you heard me. Let's let's talk about some good freaking music. And that is, I want to give a big shout out to damn Chance the Rapper for helping Anita Baker get her damn masters. Now, y'all know that they hold on to your masters forever. There's a slight window of opportunity at a certain year for you to be able to get your masters and claim them as your own. Well, Chance the Rapper, she was at a concert and he was there watching Miss Anita Baker, honey, and Anita gave him a shout out. Let's take a listen to what she said because she let it be known that he helped her get her masters. Would you like to say hello to a friend of mine, Anita Baker? Hello, Anita. 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 Hello, amazing shout out to chance the damn rapper for helping somebody you know what i'm saying you know this is what prince was striving about years ago trying to get all of the artists that he thought were quality and worthy to get your masters how to obtain it stop being a slave right who said start over geron is in the building exactly <laughs> hey, you know um Anita Baker is down in Vegas, girl, and it's been popping. Everybody been posting pictures from that concert. They say it's bomb. All I got to say is, and y'all know I love some Anita Baker music, but that hairstyle that she got, 
<laughs> it's time for a change. It's a, the one that she got for this this Vegas <laughs> thing is a no go for me. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell it's a wig because you know you ain't set up there and got you no dog um you know lots you ain't lot lotted lotted up ma'am i'm sorry uh no ma'am i don't want to see that again on you anita just let your stylist know that's not what you're here to do stay with the classic if you gotta keep the same i mean you know we love the classic we love the classic t-boss hairdo we love the classic um tony braxton we love the classic um uh, who else? Anita Baker, old school hairstyle. Like, go ahead. Let us keep going. You can keep going with that. Uh, you know, if you step out of your comfort zone and you see that it doesn't work for you, you need one of your friends to tell you, hey, boo, that's that's not you. That's not what we're going to do. Um, we're going to take this wig off and we're going to curl you up real quick and give you one of your old hairstyles, okay? Because she still looks good. She still looks like she's from back in the day. Like she hasn't changed face-wise, even though she's older, she still looks good. So, you know, I just want people to, to, to know that, that that one hairstyle she got just wasn't doing it for me. <clears throat> not at all. That one in all. that corner over there ain't doing it either. <laughs> Wait a minute, ain't that the classic Anita Baker? No, her hair usually looks better than that. I don't know who be, uh, did she, um, she need a new hairstyle. <laughs> Wait a minute. Joy said, people said they thought Rick James reincarnated. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh god girl i told you that hairstyle was terrible okay uh that's that's all that's all i'm saying i mean i ain't bashing nothing else because you know i think she got some pipes she can sing that's my girl anita but that hairstyle was a no-go for me uh i was just you know i just wanted to put that out there for y'all because y'all know i'll be telling the truth uh joy said just because we don't see what people are doing in the forefront don't mean they uh they're not working behind the scenes that's correct you know a lot of people yeah. can be working behind the scenes. But shout out to Anita for getting her masters back. And shout out to Chance the Rapper for opening up the door and helping her get through it. Okay. All right. Let's get on to the dramas. Now, you know, uh, Shine the Gossip is going to tell you about all of these um, <clears throat> reality TV shows. And one of our favorites is uh, the Bad Boys of LA. Oh, and yeah. um. Sean, you gotta fill them in and let them know that they uh they looking for a season two lineup. They looking for a season two lineup. Yep, they're they are they did get approved for season two. It's gonna be out of Houston. They said they're gonna do a live casting special. So if y'all know any bad boys, they want to scurry on down to Houston. Uh, she said that they will be um <laughs> they'll be um casting and they're gonna do a casting special that they're gonna air on Zeus. So, you know, even if you don't make it on the show, you might get a little TV time. If do, you we, do we, do we, so they wanna set it up like how they be doing, what was that show that um Kelly Clarkson and them was on, how they be doing the auditions, that's what they plan yeah, on doing for Yeah, me? that's what she's saying, because she was saying that last time when they were casting, she had to look through almost 9,000 <laughs> videos and I guess she ain't trying to do that again, you know. <laughs> So she like, oh. we doing live casting. Girl, you know, uh, you know, even though she uh is like the forefront of bringing this to Zeus Network and everything, uh, she tired. Because they didn't fought this whole damn season. She tired. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> this, this, look, if y'all ain't been watching it, Lord, if you just like gratuitous drama, that's the show for you. It's a fight every damn episode. You hear me? every episode you know it's my type of show but it know. was our type of show definitely <laughs> definitely let me hear for the first very first show was a fight the second show was a continuation for the first show it was a fight we had a few breaks in between but then it was a fight a fight a fight a fight i'm just letting y'all yeah. know if y'all is into drama field reality shows this was one that you had to get uh because it it was there right you just got to um <laughs> Type up Zeus uh, in the, uh, in, um, the Googler and it'll take you to there and you sign in and you um, you pay $5.99 or what, I think it's $5.99 or $4.99 or whatever. It's real cheap for the subscription. You just subscribe to it, girl, and then it'll, it'll 
pop up for you. Hey, Nisha, what's up, boo? Yes, I did say a scary on down in Houston. Y'all, <laughs> y'all got to get into it. Let's listen to what the uh, real Miss Natalie had to say. But let me just tell y'all, it is some stuff going on. Sean, you better tell them that we might not get a reunion for season one. Yeah. People don't want to go to the damn reunion. Too much fighting. And now six is favorite. Da 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 da. <laughs> gutter. <laughs> gutter. Girl, apparently he didn't got his, he was almost to a million followers on Instagram and his page got took down yesterday. So now he pissed and don't want to go to the reunion. I don't know what the reunion got to do with his page getting taken down. It don't. Don't. And it showed on there that he, he said something vulgar or it, it violated the community guidelines. And that's why they took it. Well, that don't surprise me now. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Else, you know. It's always something, honey. Let's go on listen to Miss Nettie. Thank you guys for supporting Bad Boys Season 1. It was a huge success. And the Bad Boys, you guys did an amazing job. And guess what? Bad Boys Season 2 has officially been greenlit. And we're coming to Houston. We have live auditions that we're going to film and air on the Zeus Network. We need all of you guys to come out to potentially be casted for season two. You can be straight, you can be gay, purple, green, it doesn't matter. Just come out, perform, so that you can be on season two. Now, let me just tell you something. Don't come out if you're not ready. Don't come out if you're not a bad boy, because myself and a panel of judges will be there to see if you're really bad. Well, I think she meant don't come out if you ain't interested in fighting or getting your ass <laughs> Either way, <laughs> don't they come need out to bring, All I got to say is they need to bring Jonathan back. Jonathan, Ooh. the hands that would slay your ass in the grass. You hear me? They need to bring him back. Oh, sis, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. So Nisha said, oh, we, we getting them pages taken. It's stopping the bag. And we learned that with uh, Sakana. Well, who, uh, who was that? Sukiana, Sukiana, I think Sukiana. her name is. Uh, and Sissy said, you took it in the chin, that chin up, ladies and gents, come <laughs> with the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If y'all, all I'm saying is if y'all ain't ready for them hands, y'all ain't ready to fight, ain't no use to you even going down there to audition. Because I'm telling you, they just set the bar high than a mug. And all we saw basically this whole season was a fight. And that's what I want to see for season two. Now, speaking of yeah. some fights, now, go on and tell us what's going on with Jocelyn Hernandez. And what's going on with that Tisha? Oh, well, child, we, we did for y'all's information, just to get information out there, we did watch Jocelyn's cabaret too. <laughs> 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 and, um, you know, Jocelyn was on there being herself, cussing folks out and, you know, everything. Being but somebody's pimp. Yeah, she think yeah. all them ladies was her pimp. Her, her, Girl, her she, she be talking them. like a pimp. These hoes don't do what I say. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> man. <laughs> Girl. But a few weeks ago, they did show the reunion. Girl, that was a complete damn waste of time. I didn't hear nobody talking. They fought the whole reunion, two episodes. Yeah. All they did was fight. We couldn't even get them to sit down and just have a conversation about well, who was mad about what or nothing, girl. They scrapped it. We didn't. We didn't even get another uh, episode of the reunion. Yeah, they had to scrap because they were not calm down. They were just over tussling. They was tussling. Some of the girls was gonna sue Jocelyn, but apparently they didn't drop the lawsuit. Yep, they dropped the lawsuit. Some people were saying they got a settlement. She talking about after some deep thinking. I've decided I don't want to pursue. Oh, okay. You got to settle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Tish, it sounds Zeus as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds Zeus. Child, let me just say. Uh, Jocelyn, she thinks that she's doing something big. You still out here like you acting like you on the pole, even though you might not be up in the dog on clubs like that no more like you used to. But that's what your cabaret is. You still out here, uh, you know being on the pole so nothing nothing has changed absolutely nothing and yeah da, 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 da. i mean and then <laughs> you know she was just on social media last week 
talking bad or that, and that yeah last week mm-hmm. the girl miami tip had posted a throwback picture of her jocelyn saying who is how miami she, tip who is that she was on she's a stripper she was oh. on love and hip-hop miami okay. so her and jocelyn used to strip together back in the day so apparently she um put a, a throwback picture jocelyn was leaning up against the pole and she was down on the ground on all fours you know normal <laughs> stuff and uh <laughs> lastly um and you know she was just really talking about how far they came and you know here go jocelyn well i didn't came far but you still in the same damn place basically <laughs> <laughs> she is cold-blooded ain't she she don't give a damn she do not give a damn you heard me sha anisha said she can't take that bra seriously i know that's right yes uh jo- jocelyn may have bossed up but she like uh you talking about jocelyn nisha uh she act like a child walking around in her uh mama heels miami oh. trip tip be about her business oh well nisha you be all over there on those reality shows girl <laughs> yes nisha I, that's, what yes. Like, yes. that's what we all talking about well Unfortunately, I don't know if we finna get any more of Jocelyn's cabaret. Let me just say that. <clears throat> I don't think that we are. A lot of people was starting to try to, weren't they trying to sign a petition to take the, take her off the damn net, Zeus network? Yeah, as they were saying that her husband, I don't know if that's her husband or her boyfriend. He she is not married. What is her oh, real? What is Shanelica is not oh. married? That's okay. Shenelica. Oh, boy. She is not yeah. married. She is not yeah. married to him. I don't know why she keep calling him her, her husband. Y'all not married. That's she just your boo. Girl, they been together seven years. She ain't been that far from Stevie J. Oh, no, I don't think it's been no seven years. But. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> but, you know, they were saying that they wanted her off because her husband or her boyfriend was getting up in the mix um you know that's why they were suing is because they were saying that when she fight he jumps in uh-huh yeah he was putting them hands on yes oh. was her fake husband too oh, oh yeah look and then sissy said get a divorce first who was she married to sissy? Like, who was she married to sissy who was she married to and they not even common law they not yeah, I want to know who she was married to first. Because she wasn't married to Stevie either. Girl, didn't they have a fake uh, wedding uh, certificate, marriage certificate? Who not having fake marriages now? Who not? <laughs> y'all already know. Let's go down the list because y'all know I'm petty. Let's go down the list. Y'all remember when Babyface broke up with Homegirl and she turned around and she got with Eddie Murphy. And they did their old fakerization uh, marriage that they did talking about they spiritually married. And Tracy. they did a whole ceremony. Tracy Evans, they did a whole ceremony, right? Right? She was the uh, now. And they've been engaged for some years too. I and I tell y'all, if it's t- past two years, they not. They not. Because I told y'all I was over here looking at Lil Wayne ex-wife uh, with her new boo. Because they had been engaged for forever. Like, they just not finna get they stuff together. That's right, Nisha. What about DMX, girlfriend? Now she over here asking the judge, can we be labeled as common law so she can get rights to some money? Because she she probably, she working a regular smuggler. And they denied her. They denied her. Denied, denied, denied. So I just want to know, why is it so important for you to act like y'all married and y'all really not married? Like, it doesn't do anything if you don't have it on paper and black and white with the seal. What's going on? I mean, everything be chugging along real good until something major happens. Like somebody dies, somebody walks in. I mean, you know, winds up in the hospital, anything. Yeah. And let me tell you something. If she, her ass would have got married, Sean, the gossip would have been on it. We would have had that tea. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I, I'm constantly cruising the streets looking for information. Yeah. Where are you at, Sean? Where are you at at 7 o'clock on the dot? <laughs> cruising the streets. <laughs> Hear me? Look it. Look it. I see. I be seeing some every damn thing. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Shonda Gossip is on everybody's page. She be following the kids, the aunties. (laughs) (laughs) 
be following people and then sometimes they'll post and I'd be like, who the hell is this? How am I end up following you? <laughs> we be sitting up here like, damn, Sean, you gotta go follow so and so. Cause you know, when this whole uh fight situation uh with the bad boys for LA broke. We Sean was like, girl, yeah, I'm fine. I said, well, I'm following da 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 da. And she was like, well, I'm following real and I'm following Mulan. Uh, and I'm following. I was like, okay, let's 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 start getting the following them because they kept going live and they kept getting into it on Instagram. And I was like, oh shoot, I got to start following some of these people too. <laughs> <laughs> but you best to show that Sean the Gossip is following them first. Okay, she is the one. Hey y'all, I was sitting up here, I was following so and so, and uh, <laughs> let me tell you what I believe. What happened? <laughs> Facts. What you mean the babysitter, the pastor? They're pastors. Right. You know, Gerard always said that. She comes, I'll be following everybody. Oh, Sean probably following their daddy. I'll be like, girl, hush. Girl, yes. You know, a lot of these people, let me tell you about these fake marriages too, just to go back and pivot around. But a lot of them don't want to give up that money. Now, you know damn well the reason why, what was Eddie Murphy's ex wife, the model's name? Nicole Murphy. Yeah. The reason why her butt didn't marry Michael? Is because they couldn't come up with an agreement. She wasn't finna not get paid what she was getting paid from Eddie Murphy. She wasn't taking a cut on that. So if we get married, that means if we ever get divorced, I need this amount or more. Okay. Well, this is why they not getting married. They ain't finna let that go. Now, only person I can say that let it go and don't matter is Shawnee O'Neal. We're gonna get to that. We're going to get to Shawnee O'Neal. You heard me. Because Shawnee O'Neal, matter of fact, let me pull that up for y'all. Uno Memento, because some of these girls, they don't, you know, they don't, they be sticking with it because of the money. But you know, Shawnee O'Neal made made something out of herself when she decided that she wanted to do these basketball wives of LA and all this stuff like that. Yeah. She made some money for herself. Yeah. I think she got a weed. She was she a weed kind of store. She was over there getting uh that stuff to open up a, a weed shop and stuff like that, right? Yeah, she was doing that on the show too. So yeah. So, so let's just go on and talk about because Shawnee didn't got her ass married this past weekend to the pastor. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah, Shawnee, they look cute. They look cute together. And she didn't mind giving up that dog on Shaquille on me or money. Her and you know she ain't get she wasn't nothing, probably was she was still getting maybe some child support or whatever to that nature. But her kids are all of age now, aren't they? I don't think she got I too many of them. I think she still maybe got household. one or that maybe, or he might be 18 now too. I don't know. But, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the past, these pastors be having corn. He's a big time pastor. And let me tell you, how do they be making their corn? Uh, well, <laughs> you don't have to talk to the pastors about that. I mean, you know, they be having different businesses, you know, like I know like T.D. Jakes, he be producing movies and all kind of stuff like they're writing books, speaking engagements. Now him, I don't know. I'm just assuming that if Shawnee with him, he got some porn. Mm hmm. Well, we'll see how long this uh, this keep going on. I ain't gonna dog Shawnee O'Neal because, you know, she seems to be, you know, carrying herself in, in the right manner. Uh, this is uh, according to um, the uh, Black Net, Black Enterprise.com website. Y'all guys can check it out there that she's married now. Basketball wife star Shawnee O'Neal ties the knot with Pastor Keon Henderson uh, in Aguila ceremony. Aguila. Yes. Get it, girl. Uh, and y'all can check it out. So pretty much they didn't got hitched. That's all I'm saying is she was one of the ones who didn't have worry about giving up that old neat Shaquille O'Neal money to get remarried. Okay. But, yeah. but she did do right. She ended up lining herself up right, right, right where the money reside, where the money resides. Okay. And where the money resides. Because Shawnee, I mean, a lot of women need to do that. Look, if I get me a rich man, trust and believe. <clears throat> I'm gonna find a way to expand the money that he's giving me. You know, I ain't gonna be depending exactly. on my whole life now. Exactly, exactly. But Nisha says, "Sean, I'm just making sure we getting the tea." Exactly. Sissy said, "Didn't Stevie say the marriage was fake because she was already married?" I think she he did, but married to who? Because she should have been divorced by now. 
I don't think she was yeah. ever married. I think, you know, you know, they was doing drugs together. Y'all know that Stevie, you can't believe half of the shit he say. You can't <laughs> believe it. You know that. You know this man. Uh, Shani is about her coin too. Absolutely, Joy. Nisha said, yes, uh, there's a lady in my town that won't get married because her husband passed. And in the wheel, he left her enough money for the rest of her life but but put she wait a minute, but put she couldn't get married or she would forfeit the money oh so he wanted her to be forfeiting shit either i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna forfeit a damn thing either you're you my first we together all you're right. my last my everything <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I ain't gonna give up that money, y'all. I, I feel you. Hey, Sarah, welcome to the damn live, girl. We is in full effect. Look, oh, Tish says Shawnee got one daughter that's still under 18. Oh, she got one. Yeah, I figured it was probably just one left, but well, she got what, like five kids, I think. She got five by O'Neill. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, good for her. You know, I mm. commend her because. You know, a lot of these women, they get with these men and they get complacent, like shit can't go left. They can go left. Now, look, let the record reflect that O'Neal did come out. He did an interview on a, on a um, podcast and he basically told the truth about the whole scenario between him and Shani. He said, you know, he messed up. He messed up with Shani. He know he did. He lost out on a good one. Um, he said, and it was it was really all his fault. Uh, so, you know, he was like, you know, we are now at a point where we, we get along good. We co-parent good. Like she's one of my best friends. Like we, we talk regularly, like, you know, like we're, we're still cool. He was like, but I know I messed that relationship up. Kudos to him for, for knowing when you mess it up. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't too much he could do about it either. Cause after that, after that, it was just long gone. She had enough and y'all already know that Shaq was out here laying and swinging a G thing. That's what he was doing. Everybody was saying he was cheating on her for the longest. Yeah. Yep. Shaq crying now. Nisha Shani is the one that got away. Surely is. Surely. Because he hasn't been able to really... I, I haven't noticed him in any long-term relationships. I see him dating, but he hasn't been like in long-term relationships. You know he got a little baby, though. I don't know. I don't know. Girl, yes, he got a little baby. So he done started his little jeans all over again with somebody else, but I don't think that they're in a relationship relationship per se. But he got him a little nugget. Child. Shout out to Shaquille O'Neal. That is one man who is all about his coins. He'll never be broke. You hear me? He is an investor. He owns businesses and he just keeps revenue flowing do you hear me he keeps the flowing girl yeah, they were saying he owned like a couple of hundred um uh, wing stops or something girl yeah he was one of the investors that got into the ring like the ring doorbell like he was they they first investor that that he um he invested in their um business plan for that so he made a lot of money everybody got money i mean everybody got a ring cam mm-hmm. yeah they big time now all right, let's move on, you guys. A little bit of a sad note here. Let's talk about it. Master P lost his daughter, uh, Tatiana. She was, what, 25 years old? We don't know the extent of it, but T uh, Sean, the gossip, says she heard that it could possibly, allegedly, be related to mental illness and substance abuse. I did read that somewhere. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's true or not. I just saw it, so... Yeah, and this is what is posted on Master P. Twenty nine years old. Okay. Yeah, twenty nine, not twenty five. Okay, thank you, Joy. Um, so Master P posted this on his page, and he did mention illness, mental illness, and substance abuse. He said, "Our family is dealing with an overwhelming grief for the loss of my daughter Tatiana. We respect re respectfully request some privacy so that our family can grieve. We appreciate all the prayers, loves, and support." Mental illness and substance abuse is a real issue that we can't be afraid to talk about. With God, we will all get through this. Hashtag my angel. That's so sad. You know, our generation uh, of people were like, we've been losing a lot lately, right? Yeah, definitely. It seems like every 
week or month <clears throat> is somebody um passing away that you just shot dead it's really sad it's just always something it just never ceases to amaze me of um Every time I turn around, it's like somebody, we didn't lost somebody else. We didn't lost somebody else. Now, you know, I don't really know Tatiana like that. I don't think, was she in the business like her brother was, Romeo? Was she in the business? Mm, I didn't know much about her. The only kids I know about of his are Romeo and then his two sons. He's always posting about that are playing college basketball and stuff or, you know, but I never hear him say nothing about his daughters. Mm-hmm yeah that's super sad you know shout out to master p and his family our condolences go out to the whole entire family you know it's hard to okay. lose a child they Joy said she was said. On growing up hip-hop oh so she was on growing up hip-hop i don't remember her being on here yes too many lives lost i was just telling someone i think i'm the only person with the antique doorbell you still got an old school doorbell sir <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. Check this out, though, y'all. DJ Quick son, who works at CPT Council Liaison, arrested for murder, and his bail was set for two million. Now, I'm not gonna. Well, I have to because I'm using this um particular website, but this is from Vlad TV. Y'all pretty much know what what it is with Vlad. But Anti, who uh, this was some tea that we had to bring to you. Uh, he had the, the information. It says uh, DJ Quickson David Blake Jr. was reportedly arrested by the Downey Police Department on Thursday on suspicion of murder. Local authorities confirmed the arrest on Friday. A press release revealed officers responded to a call Wednesday evening about a fight in progress before receiving a second call about shots being fired. When the cops arrived on the scene, they discovered 33-year-old Julio uh, Cardoza suffering from a single gunshot wound. Cardoza later passed away from his injuries at the hospital. Investigators later identified David Blake Jr. as a suspect and arrested him early Thursday morning. Oh, geez. According to City of Compton records, honey, DJ Quick's 27-year-old son works as a council liaison to council member Isaac Galvin. Early reports speculate that the deceased victim may have had ties to the mother of Galvin's child, whose name is Michelle Cardoza. Neither Galvin nor DJ Quick has publicly commented on David Blake Jr.'s arrest. This is the second time a child of DJ Quick's has faced similar charges as his daughter was charged with killing her son nearly 10 years ago. Jail records state David Blake Jr.'s bail has been set at $2 million. He is expected back in court on May 31st of this year. Damn! So wait a minute. Uh, he done allegedly killed the council, somebody that's associated with the councilman that he worked for, baby mama? Baby mama, yes. Girl, that's crazy. Ain't it deep? And then it also gives us the police records that they have um, showing the arrest date and time what the bell was set at ain't that crazy and i didn't know his his daughter killed her son Girl, like, that's know crazy that. what is going on you say a hit job girl or something nisha because i'm like was was the baby daddy they were was he there trying to i don't know yeah i don't know but look look this is what some of the people are commenting i don't have all the details but it looked like dj dj quick son was arrested for murder by downey police yesterday somehow compton council member isaac galvin is involved david blake jr's bill as two million is developing uh, for those who don't know quick son has been working for the city of compton as council member isaac galvin's liaison this is isaac galvin here in this picture mm. cold bloody interesting here's some more detail about the arrest um the victim is julio and it appears it's the same last name as the council member 
uh, Isaac Galvin's baby mama. Quick son. Okay, quick son works for Galvin. Okay. That is messed up. I wonder if it was the baby mama's brother or something. They got the same last name unless she married to him. Or- unless she, yeah, I was going to say that too. Uh, Jerron said he is going to be under the jail. Oh, yeah. Trust and believe. Uh, we would know what's the T if the bail is paid or what lawyer he gets. Yeah, they're going to probably tell us that information. That's crazy. What What is going on? I, I, <laughs> it is always something. Dang. It's like we can't get, get past all of these shenanigans. Not at all. All right. Mm-hmm. And speaking of some more shenanigans, let's talk about it. What What's going on with all these artists and them selling their damn whole catalogs? Y'all must don't want to make no money. Why are y'all selling the thing that very, that very much pays you? Why? So according to the Revolt TV um, article, Justin Timberlake sells his entire music catalog and deal worth $100 million. Now, if y'all remember our last recordings about the last artist who sold his entire catalog was Lil Wayne. What is going on with these people, these celebrities selling their catalogs? Little Wayne sold his for some millions of dollars, and now Justin Timberlake got a hundred million dollar deal. Crazy. So this um, article is stating that he did um, his uh, his catalog was valued at an estimated hundred million, according to the Wall Street Journal. The London-based firm announced Thursday, May 26th, the purchase of all the singer's copyrights to approximately 200 songs that he wrote or co-wrote, according to the Hypnosis Song Management CEO, Merck, I don't even know how to say that, Merck, Merck, Grudadas? I don't know. What the oh, hell? The whole catalog, including his... On that six. Because I got breaking news. Uh oh, breaking news, breaking news. Where's Monique my breaking news her, music? Monique then posted her contract, girl. Uh-oh. Girl, send it to me. Send it to me. Okay, girl. <laughs> Wait a minute, Justin Timberlake. I'm about to Kanye West you. Uh, we'll okay. be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> send it to me. Send it to me. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Okay. Oh, MG. Oh, no, my mental breaking news. I five four. What in the world? Okay, let's see. All right, and I'm pulling read it up. Caption, too. I was like, oh. The <laughs> reader caption. Oh, no, my mental. All right, here we go. We got breaking news. Monique just posted on her Instagram page her contract. And let's read it as follows, honey. It says, uh, there were some of you who were fooled by the smoke and mirrors of DL posting his deal memo versus his performance agreement. Here is my performance agreement. And here and, and here are emails and texts confirming that as per usual, I'm going to always keep it real and honest with my people. If you notice, mine has signatures and DL does not. What type of ironclad agreement doesn't have signatures of the participants involved? Apparently, DLs. <laughs> now, you told me to check with my management, and this is what I came up with. So how did I do? Perhaps you should have taken your own advice, because I'm sure your team would have advised you against trying to pass a deal memo off as a contract. To those out there who thought a deal memo was the same as a performance agreement, especially some of the comedians, this is how we're constantly taken advantage of by our business. And just so you know, the promoter already told my team before the show that you didn't have a signed agreement. And that's why I'm not surprised you're using the deal memo. That said, maybe they lied and you actually have a contract. If so, the promoters have put themselves in a terrible position to have more legal action taken against them beyond malicious concealment for breaking the contract at the least last second. That said, DL, 
we the people will be waiting waiting for your signed agreement number one my contract sign number two email with pdf of run of show number three run of show number four additional email with ros number five what i walk in two minutes after arriving to the theater can you say receipts lol to my people who refuse to fall for the okie doke uh, and even those that do, I love all to life. Child, well, let's get into it. Let me see if I can do some manipulation here and kind of enlarge. Why right? shots fired? Book, book, book. So let me see. Can I enlarge this so we can read this contract? Uh, I'm going to try to use my bifocals. Hold on. <laughs> Hicks Media Inc. FSO Monique Hicks. PKA Monique. Uh, care of attorney Rickard, Ricky Anderson, PLLC, honey, performance agreement. This agreement made on the 28th day of March, 2022, in between Hicks Media Inc., FSO, Monique Hicks, PKA, Monique. Okay, so now it says, here and after, referred to as talent, New Day Entertainment, Okay, and y'all know I got y'all know I ain't playing when I said I put the bifocals up here, Sonny. Let me get close to the dog on laptop. Okay, um, engagement purchase hereby engages talent, and talent hereby accepts such engagement to perform one 30 minute to 45 minute concert show engagements. Talent shall be the headliner of the show and the closing talent for the show of which talent shall not perform later than one hour of performance time after the start of the show performance date may 28 2022 venue fox theater city detroit michigan show times tbd this is a firm date and venue and may not be rescheduled or changed without talents written consent now she did black out this area here so I'm going to read in between and let, what are y'all saying in the chat? Okay. What are we getting? What? Okay. I don't care. She still should have handled it professionally. Okay. That's what Joy said. And you're in dispute with who hired you, not Daryl Lynn. <laughs> yes. My AirPods in my purse. Jamon. Oh God. Exactly. What are you guys? Then why did you come on, come out on stage before Daryl Lynn? I stand with Daryl Lynn. Okay, so she still came out before uh, D.L. Hughley? She wasn't the, the end? Why didn't she? Pro because you know what? She probably did not want to have the crowd be held up for this. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Okay, back to the T. Hold on, on a memento, because y'all know I'm going back and forth. Hold on, hold on. In between the, um, the blackout part, it says, no date cancellation, talent fee, is guaranteed all payments made to the talent are earned upon payment and non-refundable subject only to talents non-appearance in which the talent is liable for the non-appearance and purchaser purchaser is not in breach of contract okay abc is blocked out all monies will be paid via bank wire to the following and then it gave the bank information Okay, let's go on to page two. It says, hi again, thank you so much for everything. Attached, please find your ROS for Saturday. Blessings to you. Now, what is this saying up here? Because this is cut off. Say 230 issued by the United States Secretary of Treasury. Thus, we are required to inform you that you cannot rely upon any tax advice contained in the communication for the purposes of avoiding United States federal tax penalties. In addition, any tax advice contained in this communication may not be used to promote, market, or recommend a transaction to another party. Okay, so that must be how the wire is set up. All right, next page. It shows new day, date. Saturday, May 28, 2002, showtime at 8 o'clock. The doors open at 7. Load in time, 11 a.m. Venue, Fox Theater gives the address to the Fox. The show schedule. Okay, so it says artist Josh Adams. This is for the sound check. Um, Ada Rodriguez, DL Hughley, then Monique. 
That's what the sound check says. Then it also says for the artist performing, it gives uh, the 105.9 Kiss FM Morning Show, which is Mason and Angie Starr, and that's at 8 o'clock. They get 10 minutes. Josh, uh, Josh Adams' intro, uh, and then Ada Rodriguez, 8, 10 to 8, 15, they get five minutes. Ada, Ada uh, Rodriguez gets 20 minutes. And then Josh intro to D.L. Hughley gets five minutes. D.L. Hughley comes out. He got a 40-minute set. Then it's an intermission. And then Josh Adams comes, uh, does the intro for, for, for Monique, gets five minutes. And then Monique closed out the show. This is what it states. For y'all that's just tuning in, y'all, we got the T and Monique posted the T on her Instagram, which is what we are reading. She posted the contract. She posted the run of the show. She posted the... Um, the ROS, uh, which is, I believe, the roster. Uh, and then what well, she walked in two minutes after arriving uh, to the theater, she gave the emails. It says, hi, Stephanie, can Monique do a call at two, two o'clock still? Here's the information. Call this number. Interviewer, Angie Starr. Show Mason and Angie in the morning. And then it gives the time and it gives who is, head, who is doing the show. Ada, D.L. Hughley, then Monique. The next page, is that it? Okay, it gives the roster, which is what we showed before. And it doesn't, it does show that Monique's information is first, then DL Hughley on this one. See, Sean, remember I told you that I thought I saw one was where DL information was last, like he was closing it out. Yeah, I mean DL is supposed to be closing it out. So but this, okay, so this was the switch then. Yeah. Okay. Monique so this has was, one that says she closes it she out. She closes out. Right. Okay. Perfect. So this was the switch. And then, okay, the picture of Monique. Child. I so mean, I really do feel like it's something to do with the promoters. The promoters. Really the promoters. They jacked that up, honey. Let me see what y'all saying. Y'all going wild on the curve. What y'all saying? Una memento. Una memento. They said he came out after her, right? Okay, sissy, you was there. Did she well, still come out? I mean, and I think that was the whole issue is she she apparently has a contract saying she was supposed to close the show. DL went and complained mm -hmm. and they let him close. It. They switched the lineup. Yeah. So, right, if she had an issue, she shouldn't have performed, but she did. And since she did, she shouldn't have brought it up on the stage point blank um I mean, and no don't bring nobody say. family into your beef especially if you were telling all black women to exercise some decorum and not wear bonnets in public oh uh, we still on the bonnet scene i'll get what you're saying though jerron uh joy said uh but pull up the schedule he posted it shows the opposite yeah we showed that earlier um that it showed the that he was the end which was this one it was this this one that was we just showed it's this is what it showed and the one that she has it shows her being last but this is what yeah. she walked into this is what she's saying it was changed uh so well, again she her, says, huh she said she got an actual con contract his was like some type of deal memo it was the deal memo right and um this is the actual um performance agreement Yes, let me see. Let me see. Uh, so again, her issue is with her manager, her promoter, her manager. Yeah, uh, the promoters fucked up because why have they not publicly responded and apologized to ticket holders because drama ain't what they paid for. Uh, Shug, uh huh. Who came out last? Is Sissy still in here? Did she run moose? I know she said she was with her family. Um, but yeah, so. Okay, so Monique presented some tea and some facts. She got the actual performance agreement. So I want to see what uh, DL got. Because if he just got this uh, memo, then definitely something was up and had changed. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay, what's this? Hold on. On a memento. This is crazy. It definitely is crazy. And I, ooh, let me scurry on over to DL's page. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's going on. It's to only been, saying. uh, well, it's been about an hour since Monique posted that. So, let okay. Me see. Girl, because this tea is juicy. Girl, tea. they making sure it's going back and forth. 
Uh, Joy said, I don't care if he complained and had them change it. It's the promoter's fault they they changed it. If that's what happened, right. It's the uno memento for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Nisha? Okay, y'all know uno memento. Uh, <laughs> it looks like he still has his original post up there. Uh-huh. But I don't see the one he had up here about um, his his deal memo no more. Oh, so he took the deal memo down? Girl. Come on now, DL. What you taking shit down off of your Instagram for, sir? Oh, let me see. I'm just going back to the post I sent you earlier to see. Yeah, oh, no. go back, go back through that link. Okay, I could pull it up too. Hold on. Cause I, still I just want to see. Maybe I'm overlooking it. I'm probably overlooking it. There we go. Okay. Here, I got it. I'll pull it up on the oh, it's gone. Yeah, that's what I'm it's like. gone. He took it down. <laughs> it's still there, Joy. The the um memo contract. When you go to his page, I don't see it. I, I don't mean, see I it when I go to see that link. Oh, she said I screenshot it. Yeah, we got the screenshot. Yeah, we got the screenshot, but we're trying to see if he still got it on his page. <laughs> it can't get no better than this. She heard me. Girl, it's gone. It is gone. Hmm. Seems like DL looked back at it. Now it's deal versus contract yes maybe Absolutely. he decided to go get his um you better put your damn contract up dl otherwise uh the, the ball is back in monique's court girl that's a whole tennis match we over here watching you heard girl because earlier i was like well, okay okay monique now you looking real shady <laughs> out here but monique then produced her receipts so uh Rob. trouble t said it's still on hers so you went to his IG page and it's still on his IG page, um, Trouble? Is that what you're saying? I mean, only the first post I see when I go to his IG is her in, in that scene from Precious. Okay. But we trying to look for the demo. We want to see yeah, that Yeah, that's demo. what I was saying. I don't see that. Uh, that's the only post I see related to the situation. Okay, so Joy and Trouble T said it's still there. Okay, so you know uh, the cars just fanned out and they went to the page to see. Oh, yeah, so it's still it's there. I had to refresh. Okay. Okay, yeah, well, then let, let us rejoice in saying that, uh, sir, you need to go ahead and pull your pants up on this one. We need. Oh, 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 if somebody came to help them, Lord have mercy. That brings us to the dang on contract, not the demo. <laughs> yeah, we have got to have the contract, even though, you know. Ooh, child, we got to have the contract. We need to see this performance agreement. That's what we're looking for, sir. Let us get your performance agreement, okay? Because we need to know, okay? We know, we, we, we need, we need, Sean, to get Jesus on the main line. You heard me? You hear me? Yeah. We need the info. Need to get Jesus on the man. On the On the main line. <laughs> Y'all hear Mama Joe in the background talking about help her, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, we need to get Jesus on the main line and tell him what we want. We need that performance agreement. 
from DL Hughley. That's what we need. Okay. All right. So if y'all just tuning in, we just had the breaking news of uh Monique just posted on her Instagram her performance agreement, not the demo that DL Hughley had. Okay. And she put out some emails as well. So uh the ball is back in your court, DL. We're waiting for you to post at least the performance agreement as well so that we can see what your contract says sir okay and we will be on your page all evening DL. all Just night <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be over there like lana richie all night long <laughs> yes what in the vacation bible school going on here girl we we had to get jesus on the main line for this what you talking about Jerome? you already know she said i wasn't ready <laughs> I feel like we two points away from the championship and one minute to go. Okay. They bringing a racket like Venus and Serena. They are. Okay, y'all. Jesus is on the main line. Let's get on back. Let's scurry back on over. Jeez. Oh, Lord. I really do feel like this is going to turn out to be um, like a whole issue with the management and the promoters. It's not even between Monique and D.L. Hughley. So Monique shouldn't have never said shit. I'm going to stand on that. She shouldn't have never said shit. You know what? I agree. I don't think that she should have either. Um, But you know her. She always bringing it to social media. Yeah. But anyway, let's get back to this Justin Timberlake, honey, because I still want to know why are all of these artists selling their whole entire catalog? Now, before we ended up getting that breaking news about Monique, I was telling y'all how Lil Wayne sold his uh, music catalog for some millions as well. Um, and now Justin Timberlake is doing the same thing. What's going on? So um, they said that um, the catalog includes 200 songs that he co-wrote, including the classic Cry Me a River, Rock Your Body, Sexy Back, can't stop the feeling mirrors and they said many more in addition to the copyright to the entire music catalog they said uh hypnosis uh will also own timberlake's financial interest of the writer and publisher share of the singer public performance income going forward he said, I am excited to be partnering with Merck and Hypnosis. Uh, he values artists and their creative work and has always been a strong supporter of songwriters and storytellers. Uh, this is what Timberlake said in a statement. He looks forward to entering this next chapter. Um, yeah, I still don't get it, though. I don't get it. Other artists, they said, who have made the deals. With the farm include the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Journey, Blondie, and Neil Young. But why are you guys selling the very thing that pays you? I just don't understand. I don't get it. Mm. Well, maybe they feel like they can get more coin this way. Owning your, all I know is owning your own masters keeps you in charge of your money and puts the money back in your pocket. If you sell it to somebody else, they're going to make the money. So I, I, that's why I'm so confused at this whole thing. Maybe somebody out there listening can tell me what's going on. Send me an email to uh, 6WOTC at Outlook.com because I'm trying to figure out why in the hell would you sell the very thing that pays you? That's the whole purpose of artists sitting up here saying that they starving because they don't own their masters they don't have control over their own artistic views their music or their money it's always being owned by somebody else so send it to me let me know so i can review it and understand what's going on because i'm seeing a lot of the artists now doing this they're selling it for some millions and i don't get why uh let's go to the word on the curve and see what they say Jesus got call ID, he ain't answering. Girl, he gonna answer this line. Let me tell you, we need to know. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole miscommunication situation. You agree. If they broke or strapped for cash, just say that. I need more money than that. This Wayne and JT, not Ashanti. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute, Nisha. 
Is you coming for a Shanti? What in the hell? <laughs> Justin probably owes somebody from uh, Titty Gay. <laughs> oh. Jenny Jackson ain't going to never get over the titty. Titty, titty, titty. Get them titties out of here. They ain't going to never get over it. Never. Right hey, slap that. Yeah. <laughs> right slap that in a t-shirt, mug or bag. Collect my money. <laughs> more of your coin what is going on hey shana thanks for joining us child i don't know i don't know why they selling their catalogs and i get it if you broke just say so i'm with you on that just say look it's been a hard knock life for us it's been a hard knock life for us okay because i don't get what's going on i don't but justin temper like i don't think he's broke you know he he stopped doing music yeah, that was his choice. It's like, why you stop doing music, sir? Because you, he usually can put out a hit. Yeah, and he was supposed to. He remember he worked on a song and he had Lizzo on it, and he's been working on music. He's back in the studio from what I last heard with Timberlake with uh Timberland, and so they're working on some new music. He's supposed to be releasing. This doesn't say that he's not going to read. He said he looks for the next chapter, so he is going to be releasing music under them as well. But why did you sell them your catalog? I don't know. Come to think about it, when was the last time JT wife was in the movie? She just did that candy movie on Netflix. She just came out. Is that the name of the movie, Candy? Uh, yeah. 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 So she just came out with a Netflix movie. They giving her kudos, but I'm telling y'all, I couldn't get past 10 minutes of that damn movie. Like, you know, we saw all the way up until she murdered the lady and went back to the class acting like going to pick up her kids like nothing ever happened but it was just so slow and drawn out you know when people sit there and they have that that um ash hanging at the end of their cigarette they didn't draw that puff for so long that the ash is like a whole mile away and they ain't dumped the ash yet to start some new ashes that's what that movie felt like for me okay what did yeah. it feel like for you sean you were there you were there. Yeah, yeah. I, I preferred to watch it on Snap. Now that's Snap. Yeah, that's Snap, good. it was good. But yeah, that was good. Yes. yes. Sissy, you back. Okay, look, hold on. And she said DL closed the show. She came back DL to DL closed the show. Okay, okay. What? So why, if she was complaining about the whole thing, why she didn't close out the show then? Okay, yeah, okay. Well, that, I think that's her whole point is that DL pitched a fit and, so and had it changed flow. up under yeah. her when she came in. So she just went with the flow. But and, my and, thing with that is, is uh, then that means that they they breached the contract. Exactly. Somebody did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody did. But so, did he own his own catalog or did the record label own it? See, yeah, good question, Joy. I'm not sure. Maybe the record label owned it. Uh, yeah, that's Netflix. Oh. She ain't gonna, gonna be the first choice. You skip it until the last resort. <laughs> oh, <laughs> saying, me too. Oh, yes, bloody. girl. Uh, let me tell you, that, that movie was a slow, drawn out drag. Okay. And then she needs to, it uh, needs to blame her uh, ragless uh, hubby manager. Ooh, ragless, girl. Ragless. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, y'all curses is cutthroat. Y'all so why y'all so cutthroat like that? <laughs> well, they don't let nobody make it. You're so petty, but I love you. it. Yes. All right, let's get into some more tea because Bobby can't keep his mouth shut, honey. Oh, he Bobby's re- show comes on tonight, FYI. I uh, we did say that we was going to be checking into it, uh, the Bobby show, but y'all don't make, please don't make me reiterate anything that i didn't said previously about this new show okay let's get into this information that bobby can't see the whole water because he sure loves to tell who dina slept around with um you know of which we still have not got confirmation from janet jackson i still want to know if she gonna tell us something y'all know she didn't spill no tea about that in the documentary she did either (laughs) No, she didn't even mention him. He didn't mention him. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I believe Bobby 100 percent what he said that he was sleeping around with and he threw her ass outside that hotel door, booty butt ass naked. I do believe. I do believe. Okay. Oh bloody. Oh blooded. 
Let's get into it. Bobby Brown admits to intimate encounter with Madonna. Okay. I don't know if that's really newsworthy because Madonna was slinging, slinging it around to everybody in the damn celebrity reel. Bobby back in the spotlight, so he's getting his shine. <laughs> Women right. never claim to men they want to unfuck. <laughs> oh my God, Jerron. <laughs> oh, Jerron. Oh, let me tell y'all something. The reviews about Bobby, uh, I've never heard a bad anything about what he do. I'm just saying. Girl, the way he used to be up there slanging that thing in his video. Yeah, the way he was hopping around. Yeah. He I don't... better know what he do. He do. <laughs> trust and believe. Whitney, Whitney was dick, dick McCarr. Yes, indeed, yeah. she was. She was dick. The way she, Bobby! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he just said, I mean, if you let Bobby hit, would you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I am dead i cannot <laughs> with y'all curves this i cannot oh okay so y'all already know a and e networks with uh, bobby brown's documentary tomorrow which is today i believe bobby uh will confront his very personal yet very public struggles in a two-part documentary according to the channel he will describe his whole career in the music industry as well as discuss other aspects of his life Several secrets have come to light since the announcement of his documentary biography Bobby Brown, the singer, for example, has admitted to having a sexual encounter with Madonna. He also revealed that he had a massive crush on Janet Jackson, adding, what was it about Janet? everything her little smile body dance moves her little laugh another relationship involving the former member of new edition is now being discussed his marriage to Whitney Houston the late icon was legendary they were married for 14 years and had a daughter together Bobby Christina who died in 2005 they had their ups and downs during their highly publicized relationship, and Bobby has now revealed that he was afraid before saying, I do. Alicia Etheridge Brown, which is his current wife, um, was present at the ceremony and spoke about what happened in the upcoming Tell All. Alicia said in the new documentary, my friend was talking to his fiance and had mentioned that Bob didn't want to come out of the bathroom. Alicia said that the groom-to-be had the jitters and wouldn't leave the bathroom. I was in there drinking, smoking, sniffing, Bobby explained. Brown admitted to being afraid because he thought Houston's feelings for him were not as strong as his for her. Obviously, the tea is about to spill in the big way. Keep checking back with Thirsty for more. This is on thirstyfornews.com website talking about bobby brown and his encounter with madonna oh geez Gerard said alicia hush <laughs> i ain't saying it wasn't good i said she wasn't claiming it i ain't saying nothing Gerard. i'm not going back and forth with you about that <laughs> no ma'am alicia no, ma so you just wait in the bleachers for your moment oh was we not talking about this earlier shine Oh, they were saying uh, Lisa was just waiting. Waiting. I mean, I get waiting, but 15 or 16 years? Damn. Sh Shana said she wanted Robin. You talking about Whitney, dog. Who Whitney wanted, wanted her cake and to eat it, too. She wanted both Bobby and Robin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I guarantee you, if Robin and Bobby would have had a good relationship, they probably would have had a threesome. I'm just saying, I believe that's what she really wanted. I'm just saying, don't, don't get quiet now. Mm. Call it as I see it. Well, I Robin, she seems like, uh, girl, she seemed a little, you know, I don't want to <laughs> be, in the, I don't think she'd be in the men, you know, she probably would have been like, I, I just be your side chick. I ain't with that. Robin was not into me, but her and Bobby had this most treacherous <laughs> relationship. And it really only held on because of Whitney, because she was friends with Whitney and Bobby was her husband. And 
da 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 y'all already know the story we ain't gotta go over this whole thing and jimmy cracked corn and i don't care sean how about that how about that I'm just saying Alicia just out here telling people she was so cracked out she couldn't sit through a few hours of a I do without a burger, without a burger sugar bathroom break. <laughs> oh, what is, wait a minute. Are you talking about Alicia or are you talking about Bobby? Ooh, child. Robin may have not have outperformed Bobby allegedly. Ooh, oh, from what I hear, it's a possibility. <laughs> Sean, did you hear what the Curtis is saying? Girl, yeah, you know I had stepped into the living room and Pierre got the TV up sky high, so I was on mute. But girl, um, they said yeah. that Robin could outperform Bobby. That's what the word <laughs> on the curve. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> Y'all a whole damn best. I know that wasn't nobody but damn Jerron. Was that girl, you? I'm just saying. No, that was that was sissy. That was sissy. Oh, that okay. Was I, I, this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Jerron did say some other sly shit up in there anyway. Okay. <laughs> Oh God! All right, you guys, we are almost coming to a close here. We're gonna close it out on a good foot. You heard me on a good foot. What we got, girl? What we got? Last at least the Martin reunion it gets date for June. Y'all ready for it? I am ready. That girl, look at it. They say it's on BT Plus Six. We got to get another app, girl. Uh, six ain't getting no other app. Ooh. They better <laughs> make make it available to BT somehow that I could just click on whatever BT is and it be there when I tune in. Because I damn sure ain't paying for another app. You hear me? Not another app. Not another. Not a Paramount. Not a dog on Disney Plus. Not a dog on Netflix. Not a dog on ABC Plus. BBD Plus. LMNOP Plus. Like I'm, Ooh. I'm sick of all the pluses. I'm sick of all of them. But why was I for to ask you who was that in red? For some reason, Pam looked different to me. To Sheena. Yeah, Pam over there looking like she was going for an interview. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it's given. I was like, wait a minute, who is that? One of the producers? <laughs> So it's only entertainment.net got the article saying finally, since the photo popped up on social media, we all have been wondering when Martin Reunion special will be airing. BET Plus revealed that summer line up and the wait is over. The iconic 1990s Fox sitcom reunion special will begin streaming June 16th on Tupac's birthday. Y'all better recognize that day. Okay, yes, and I snuck that in. You mad or not? Okay, good. <laughs> look all while y'all watching this y'all better have Tupac music blasting in the background celebrating his birthday as well on this particular day okay I'm just saying we all get to enjoy 90 minutes of Martin Lawrence Tisha Campbell to Sheena Arnold and Carl Anthony Payne the second sitting in the iconic living room set reminiscing on some of the best my wait a minute reminiscing hold on you, you mean reminisce like 411 album reminisce of the love we had meaning y'all not giving us a new sitcom or a reunion sitcom no ma'am this is just them sitting back reminiscing and talking I about don't want that. <laughs> Child, i don't we can we watch the reruns they rerun it we see all of the iconic moments over the five seasons that they had we reminisce Every time we go on the rerun show, that's not what I want. I want it. Let me tell y'all what I wanted. And I'm just going to be honest. They should have came back. They should have had something happen to Tommy. We should have had a funeral. We should have seen Pam get married. We already, we should have saw Tom, uh, um, Cole finally meet the woman of his dream and he get married. Like we need to see them get married off and head out to the sunset with some classic jokes and everything about Billy Bead and Brum Man for the Fifth Flow and all that shit. We don't want y'all just to come together and tell us about the shit that we see every time we go on the damn TV. Y'all, is what you mean? The reunion means you coming together and you gonna give us something. You should you should have gave us. We didn't get the last show because you and Gina was already at odds because apparently, and this is alleged, y'all had a relationship that went sour and then when she ended up meeting Dwayne and marrying his ass y'all couldn't get along so I want to see a close out I don't want to see a fucking reunion that's not what I want 
That's not what all of this is about. You right, sissy. You damn right. I'm upset. <laughs> oh, you do sound a little distraught. Today. We need a Tommy send off. That's right, Juan. We need a funeral. This is what we looking for. Fans of Martin, this is what we want. Y'all didn't give us a good closure. So why we can't get that this time? Why the four of y'all are still left? I just don't get it. And I know a lot of people were saying we don't want a new show without Tommy and stuff, but we got to send Tommy off right. Like for real. This has really pissed me off. Y'all don't understand the travesty in the community. This is just terrible. We want to update marriage, children, barbecues. Who's coming to the cookout? Who's invited? Exactly. Gina yeah. Need a check. <laughs> Sissy said Gina need a check. <laughs> But let me tell you something, sissy. Gina keep her a damn job, girl. She do, honey. She do. I don't know what she doing right now, but I bet you she on somebody's show. Trust me on that. You know it. And you know Dwayne, he coming back to the housewife, the husbands of Hollywood with um Nelly and um Kevin, Kevin Hart and all Hardy. of them. They he didn't found him another damn gig. Although ain't nobody gonna tune in to that shit. I'm gonna he was on Bel Air for a few episodes too. I'm glad we didn't finish it. I would never look at Dwayne Martin the same. This is just my personal opinion, so don't come for me because I don't get too rat's ass. But Dwayne, I would never come from him. After the tea that spilleth over from him being married to uh, what's her call it? And she said her she lost her husband to her dog on best friend. Oh, you're I talking would, about Lisa Ray saying that. Lisa, Lisa Ray, yeah. I am I would never look at him the same. And then come to find out when them two got together, uh Tisha Campbell and Lisa Ray, and they was just crying together over at her party when she did her um what was the uh what was that show that she did where they um do a, a just over over her life and she was just talking about yeah well, uh, talking about how she lost her husband and all of this stuff like that to her best friend let me tell y'all i could never look at him and say he would never get kudos from me for anything like not never not no way not how not this lifetime not never you hear me yes yeah. so yeah I, I i i know that tisha campbell always keep a job and you know i'm glad that they all are coming together for this reunion but this ain't it this is not what the viewers want you just want to see if martin got those megan knees to play little roscoe girl <laughs> you know doggone well he ain't gonna be doing it y'all know this let me tell y'all something y'all listening y'all know martin ain't right though right y'all know after all that stuff with martin allegedly him running out in the middle of the street with that gun and he said he had smoked him some ooh wee and he was on ooh wee Y'all know he wasn't on no ooh wee. That wasn't no ooh wee. But Martin ain't been right since. Let me tell y'all something. When they do did the um bad boys uh, with Will Smith, that last one, and they was on the tour and they was interviewing. Have y'all ever seen Martin be interviewed? Go look up LeBron James uh, show of him in the barbershop and Martin is on there. Martin is quiet as a church mouse. He is nothing like his character. Martin, mm -hmm. you notice mm -hmm. that? Is it yeah. me? Yeah, he's it's not. not he is. Yeah, but you know, I've noticed that um, about some of the comedians that you know what they do on stage and in shows is just a persona. But um, I did hear that they're currently working on Bad Boys Four. Just FYI. Yeah, yeah, they still working on Bad Boys Four, but he he is nothing like his Martin character or nothing. He's, he's not. quiet. And I don't recall him being like that when he used to be interviewed and stuff like that back in the day when it was the Deaf Comedy Jam and stuff. He was totally different. He is not the same, you guys. We're not getting the same old Martin. And I'm not expecting him to be exactly like he was, but I do expect for his personality to come out in the interviews when they're interviewing him. Like, I don't want to be put to sleep when I hear Martin's name. That's what he gives me during interviews. Like, when he was on that LeBron James uh, show and they was in the... Um, I can't the, think of the name the of the show. The Shop on HBO. The Shop on HBO. Thank you, Sean. Girl, and they was like, he was talking about, yeah, I remember the day and whatever. I was just like, please go to somebody else. Please. <laughs> <laughs> 
Martin, Martin was very quiet, very serious on that show. I saw, I think we watched that episode together. Um, yeah. But even when he did the, the, the run for the last, the Bad Boys 3, and they were doing all of the interviews and stuff like that, it was Will who would get Martin involved. Because mm. other than that, Martin would just sit there and be quiet. And you know, Will, he liked to steal the show. He's the comics relief. He got, oh, <laughs> you know, how he be laughing all the time. What do you say, Martin? What do you say? What, you know, try to get Martin revved up to be hype because he was not hype. He was not hype doing that doggone run. Mm. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Y'all need to take a look, but I'm just saying. I'm just telling y'all. He not, he, he not going to give you, and he probably going to be real quiet on this 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 reunion i'm just saying okay hold on trouble t is gonna be like family matters reunion oh shoot uh since he said without tommy it just isn't the same for me to say no lies detected we need a redo this this not ending on a good foot the, the article just ruined it <laughs> i never did a family matters reunion you don't remember they reunion uh-uh girl was terrible i'm gonna have to pull it up on the googler for you because it was terrible <laughs> sissy says she's sick of bobblehead gina oh my god lisa ray me neither he dirty this ain't the reunion we asked for right lisa ray needs to stay in her place when it comes to brat because judy ain't for the shit oh shoot what you didn't hear boo i thought they all hashed it out i thought they was all good now nah. i mean uh lisa ray was at the wedding yeah, she was in the wedding too. Mm-hmm. The person I want to know that wasn't nowhere around was Mariah Carey. Where the fuck was Mariah Carey? Ain't that your best friend, Brat? Why mm-hmm. she wasn't at your wedding? I'm just saying. Did y'all see her? Did y'all see any clips of Mariah Carey? Did she sing at the wedding? Did she? Did she? Was she on the dog on bridesmaid set? Mm. Nope. Make you want to holler, throw up both your hands. This is going to be like the Fresh Prince reunion. Don't say that, Joy. After his appearance on uh, Bad Boys, I think them knees is out of commission. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa Ray. Got you, sis. Fresh Prince uh, reunion. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to pull it up, Sean, because I'm telling See, you. I was a reunion, reunion. I mean, which, when I heard the word reunion, I didn't, my mind didn't go to show. I automatically expected them to be sitting around talking about the show. I don't want them sitting around talking about the show. We see the, <laughs> the clips of the reruns and we get some of the behind the scenes where they, the bloopers. We get those too. What what else can you say? I don't know. Maybe they what, don't. What, what they all going to be up? Oh, remember, remember when Tommy did this scene and we couldn't stop laughing? Like, uh-huh. like this this is what we're going to be getting. Are y'all talking about what y'all did behind the scenes and stuff like that? Maybe they going to spill tea about um, why that show ended. Why him and Gina couldn't film no more. Now, that's some tea I want to Now, hear. that's the tea I would tune in for. If you're going to say, why in the hell y'all two fell out and had to stop the show abruptly because of da-da-da-da-da, then that's what I would tune in for. Yeah. But y'all know they ain't gonna say no shit like that. Y'all know uh-huh. that. Uh, Martin and Gina just straightened it out, and they was they were saying that um, him and Cole don't get along. Well, you know his name ain't Cole, but you know what I mean. But yeah, he didn't get along. They didn't get along. And let me tell you, uh, Cole got a got a baby with one of Bobby Brown's ex baby moms. So that that's how that all ties in. How that go? <laughs> There's a small world in Hollywood, as you I told say. y'all, Hollywood is small as hell. Since he said maybe he was tired and needed a nap. <laughs> Since he, for every, every interview, come on now. On season two, Lisa and Judy get into it about Brat getting pregnant. Oh, okay. Okay. So she, want, she don't want uh, her sister to have a baby. Is that what it is? Anisha uh, said, "Cause she licked that C. Never mind. Oh my God! What in the hell is we talking about now? We all over the place in the car." Jerron said, "Mariah is the bride, never a bridesmaid." <laughs> oh, is that why she wasn't there, Jerron? <laughs> Mariah said, "I hell no. If I ain't the center of attention, I won't be there." Okay. <laughs> Sissy said, Judy said the brat doesn't need to get clearance for you. And Lisa said she does, then it ended. Oh, shoot. So Ooh, girl, you're making me want to tune in. Girl, you know I'm nosy. And y'all know I didn't even tune in to 
the brat loves Judy or whatever. So if it's some tea like that going on, maybe I might have to tune in the season two. Right, girl. We are running out of things to watch. So we we are. Joyce said, yeah, that's what they going to do, I bet. Uh, they ain't going to bring up no old shit now. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think they are joy. I was just saying what I would like to hear, child. Right, okay. cockroach, Jaron. Yeah, come on, Sean. You know that's what we really would want to tune in for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing they never cleared up. Well, whatever it was between you and Gina had your ass running out in the middle of that damn street with a gun talking about you was smoking on some ooh wee. Years later in a new relationship. <laughs> Yeah, and it was, I hated the way that last season was. I really did. It was terrible. <laughs> I know. Nisha to the corner, calling out Nisha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she said that was my show. Y'all, look, I thought we was going to be ending on a good note. Y'all, this ain't no good note. This, this, I don't like what they just said in this article. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. <laughs> So does see, I, I'm <laughs> tripping that you even thought a new damn show was coming out, man. I really wanted it. I did. I am not lying. I really wanted this to be like, you know, a pickup from what we didn't get. Like they needed to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you needed to fix it for the viewers. Like this would have been a good. This would have probably been the highest rating on BET Plus. Yeah. If it was an actual show yeah well i mean maybe this is the beginning of them announcing it or working together probably not i think i mean it's hard to do a reboot i think they did good with the reboot of bel-air i actually enjoyed that but they took it in a whole different direction y'all know they got a reboot of martin show between uh uh between tommy and pam y'all haven't been seeing it going around they in some like they got a bedroom scene or something. This real sexual and stuff. And I was like, this is not what I want. No, that's not them. That was Tommy Lee and Pam, Pam Anderson. No, no, this is an actual. Here, let me get on the Googler. And oh. I will show y'all. It's an actual thing. But this is not uh, the Martin reboot. <sighs> I think I did see something like that, actually. Like, I don't know if it was real, but I did see it. Here it is. It's a Pam and Tommy Martin reboot here. Now, uh, I can't... Joy said it was a spoof. Oh, it was a spoof? We had a good spoof. Here go them in the uh, It is a good... I mean, but you know, that's how Bel Air got started. You know, when they did that um, reboot type of thing, and Will Smith saw it, and he produced it. Well, this so, one they say... They they get the official trailer for it or whatever. I don't want to play it because I don't want to get blocked on nothing. But yeah, y'all, if y'all got time, go. Yes, my dreams were coming true, Nisha. It was. I thought it was. Martin anyway. remake. Oh, okay. Martin re remake. Well, when is it coming out? If it's coming out, I I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like for for them, it's a, a Detroit love story. Yeah, this this is not what we want. Sean, don't fall for the banana in the tail pipe. <laughs> Please you know don't do that. Detroit love story. Sean, you know damn well this is not what we want. We don't want uh, we nothing want based comedy. We, we want don't want comedy. nothing based on just Pam and Tommy. We don't because they broke up. Don't you remember? Yeah. I don't want to spin off of that. I don't. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. Scroll to the bottom of the article. Hold on, let me go back. Martin, what is this? Teach can pull receipts that Dwayne Martin can pay child support. Where, where, where I'm going all the way down to? You trying to pay uh, support? That'd be shame. I don't know. That was a spoof. Yeah, it probably was a spoof, but I thought it was good, um, good information. But I did see it circulating. Look, we don't let. Me, okay, let's just the cut photo to the photo. chase. Oh no, that's the same what we did. Right let's now. just let's just cut to the chase. We don't want this, okay? We don't want it. We don't want what you bringing us June sixteenth. We don't want them to sit and reminisce over episodes. We want an episode, a real episode, a real live episode, and we want it live. We want it live. I want to hear people laughing. I want to hear the whole shebang. Cut, action, all of that. I want to hear Oh, it. well. Yeah, I do. 
I mean, if we if we got that last show from Will Smith and that was live and it was good and it was if they was really crying throughout the set and stuff, you could give us that for Martin. That's not that's not I too mean, much I agree, for. But do you feel like it was too late? It's been what? How long have they been off the air? It's 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 been since the nineties, okay. And I don't think that it's too late because if they can sit up here and make all of these new aged reboots off the knockoff version, then why can't we get it? Why can't we shine? We got a bootleg Bel Air. Yeah, I mean they could, but you gotta find somebody who actually wants to do it. Like they got lucky, Will Smith liked it and he decided to produce it but i don't want to i don't want to reboot people we got the original sitting right here on the damn couch we got the four originals why they can't do it well i guess that's a fair question but i don't know i don't know Re- reboot sometimes they don't work out so all I am is asking for one closing show since we didn't get it when it was running. That's all I'm asking. That's it. Yeah. Uh, we were about to flip when it was Pam and Tommy show, but it was Pamela Anderson. Oh. <laughs> the Martin <laughs> reunion will include musical, musical performances. Oh, trouble. They ain't doing shit else. They ain't doing nothing else. Y'all not going <laughs> to take away what I really want. Y'all not. Y'all not about to take away what I really want. I'm sorry. I want a real, real end to the Martin thing. Okay. Yeah. And y'all could y'all could go out that way. If y'all want to go out that version way, y'all go out that version way. But I'm I'm telling you, I'm gonna be in their DMs if that's what they're giving us on June 16th. Cause I'm gonna be very upset with this. Somebody better answer my call. <laughs> oh well. Do you hear me? Somebody best to answer my call. Cause I, I other than that, I don't uh, that ain't what I want, Sean. Yeah, I definitely understand. That's that's not what I want. So what else? What else? What else can we say about it? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, was, that was disappointing. I'm just um, y'all y'all gotta do better than this. Okay, that's not what we want. Do I gotta get Jesus on the main line again? That's all I want to know. So we can tell him. No, what no. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to get him. He's quite busy. Okay, okay. I'm just double checking. So, all right, my curses. With that being said, that is what we brought for you today. We will stay tuned to keep y'all with the latest and update news information between DL Hughley and Monique going back and forth. Uh, we will report whatever we see. Shine is falling in all parties. <laughs> you hear me? All parties. And if they mention any other parties, I'll follow them too. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. She's going to make sure that it's going to get her. You heard me. Okay. This is this will be this will be televised. The, and it's not over with. Y'all already know I'll that. I'll be up. Um, oh, no. I was going to say, I'll be up early in the morning. I'll be listening to D.L. Hughley's show. But his show come on, I think, here in Texas at like four or something. I put it on now. Oh, oh well, we can be listening to the radio show too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah girl, we, can, we got to get the tea any way we can. We got to get the tea. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get it. So, all right, my curses, we about this piece. Don't forget, comment below to keep the discussion going. Don't forget to follow us on all the platforms. Y'all know I'm six. And I'm with my girl, Sean, the gossip. We is down for whatever to get this tea. And we about this piece. See y'all in the meantime. Peace. Bye.